Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. Everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say, he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster special. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Well, we told you off the top, he had a reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they are exchanging leather early. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Big leg kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown. But now, he is going to have to mix it up to get the first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Nice leg kick. Straight punch lands. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh! Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, right to the mount. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Two minutes now to go. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And that one cut him open. Joy gets caught with that punch. 
Oh, nice right hand, John. Oh, the combinations continue to pile up. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Do another shot to the head. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Beautiful strike. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Threw the punch, got to the target. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Got the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Slips the left hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice punch there by Troy. Just missed with the left there. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Just misses with the straight right. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. It won't take many of those. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, what a punch. Bleeding from his cheek now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. The uppercut flails and misses. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. 
Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick. He somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Right hook to the head blocked. All right, single collar time now. Got clip with the right hand. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by the Korean Superboy. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch lands through the middle. And both guys really throwing with authority. There's no give on that leg kick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus miss in his opponent. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Nice kick. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, nice job defensively to sprawl and avoid that double leg takedown. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Choi's cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stick. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Big kick land. Another punch to the head. Oh, combination lands, and it seems like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to score. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. That's how you finish a fight. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Great punch, landed with so much power. Tags him with the left. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice right hand. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, collar tie. Nice movement punch. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, 
Now he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Trying the flying knee there. Right punches there. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. What a punch. Straight right hand, no good. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. How good is that right hand? He missed with that jab attempt there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice punch there by Shore. Big head kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, big punch land. That was masterful to from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the bottom. I mean, right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> Ten seconds. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Choi. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. And that'll do it. 15 oh, minutes oh, in oh. the books. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, that's a nice strike. An uppercut landed. Oh. Twists on the right hand. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Connects with a right. Single collar tie now. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish. Oh, he might be out. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. 
the right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. The takedown attempt is good. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound start. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And they both stand up. Look at that leg. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Back and forth we go. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done! He's done! Jab hurt a little bit. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Look at the whip action that comes from him pulling that kick. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Good punch, Lance. Just out of range with the big right hand. Under two minutes now to go. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to move. He's got him hurt here. All right, side control now. Back to the feet. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. That was a jab. Superboy gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Oh! oh huge right hand! Oh! He's out! Wow! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Hurt Gaines will stop this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of round number four. To play the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party.